Hold up, hold up, hold up. He has a white voice for you. No, you're right. You're perfect. Now, this is what we say. Times have changed. Because when a black man and a white woman coming from the base, just a white woman gave me a what, we, what they also say is, when a white woman had a black woman, she had dropped in status. Now, now a white man generally didn't take on the... Now hold on, that's why we never really saw the white man... Hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. Of course. But the black woman and the white male, look at that dynamic. And with that, we saw in Calvin Hurton's analysis, the fetishism. We saw, for example, in America, many white men, and generally they came from the South, many white men would look for black women. But they weren't looking for any black woman. They were looking for the darkest yeah. black woman. And they were looking for the largest <laughs> black woman, the mama. <laughs> and primarily it was because many of these rich white men had been brought up with a black nanny. And so we had that same return of Freud's Oedipus um, um, oh, yeah. complex. And so he was, they were actually going to seek out their own fetishes. But I'm saying it's interesting for us, but now we've moved away from that. Because now we don't have to subscribe and buy to all of these things. So it means we are evolving as a society. But we never see ourselves during the evolution process. And I think it's just right that we should all be able to date who you want to. How you want to. Because we all live in the same world together. And what we need to learn to have code. Sorry, let me get a case reference from a living example. <laughs> I, I hope you get over it soon, brother. <laughs> People are going to talk about it anyway. In America! I went to school in America for a while. America is one of the most segregated societies. Even now, you will find the prejudice in a way. You walk down the street with a white woman and the black Americans all they know. It's still very much segregated. But look, hold on, sir. But look as to why that might manifest itself in America. Because in America, like, unlike Britain, in Britain, they have actually, actively practiced multiculturalism. And now we've got these countries they do it, but multiculturalism works. And it has worked here. That's a living example. In America, I'm going to get to you, in America, they do not show this. Hollywood is the greatest propaganda machine on earth. But they don't show you this. Look at America's programming on television. The soaps are either black soaps or white soaps. You have the Cosby Show, Friends, Fraser, Sex in the City. How many black people do you see on Friends? How many, how many, how many, how many Hispanics do you see on Fraser? Not even the fucking cleaner in Fraser's Hispanic. That's racist. You should be bloody Hispanic. Not even the fucking muggers in Sex in the City are black. And that's fucking racist because you're doing black people actors out of a good job. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's look at it. And then you have the Cosby show. And all so I'm saying America is still segregated even now. But you look at Britain and the multicultural practice here. We have Indians and Asians and Pakistanis, Bangladeshis, Nigerians who came here. We have Pakistanis and Indians who came here in 1959. And you enter the shop and you say, hello, hello, how are you? No, please, hello. <laughs> hello, how are you? Yes, today is very good. They've been here since 1959. They should be speaking with a fucking cockney accent. No, who are you? 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 No! Hold on, hold on. But hold on. Hello, no, please. You go to South Hall, Little India. They still wear the saris, traditional dress. dress. You go up to Seven Sisters, little, Nige, little Ghana. You go to Peckham, Sierra Leone, Alston, uh, Brixton, Little Jamaica. I'm saying to you, we've been able to keep our culture. However, you go to America. You have Indians and Asians and Africans and Jamaicans who go to America. And America is one of the most conformist societies on earth. Within weeks, they're forced to lose their accent. 
They tried to adopt the American accent. Hey there, buddy. You see an Indian who's just arrived. Hey there, buddy. You go to the baseball ca baseball game, the ball game. <laughs> I had a cousin from Jamaica. He was an out and out yardie. He was a yardie, yardie, yardie. He used to carry his crutches just like that. <laughs> he was a yardie. Yeah, man, when they go on, yeah, man, what's up, bro? I go on, yeah, man, everything is fresh. Chris had an article. And then you arrive in America. Hey there, buddy. What's happening? Huh? Oh, no. <laughs> he switched to fit in the, because anyone who's different in America stands out. So, so we, we look at these differences, and that's why I said to you, Britain is a great country to live in. Yeah, yeah. Because, because, we can, to yeah. because we can exercise these rights. And I say this without apology or favor, that to be black, to be non-white, to be Muslim, to be other in Britain is better than being other Asian, black in any other, or most of the other countries in Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bar Sweden, yeah, yeah, yeah. Norway. Yeah. Norway. Oh, fuck Norway. This is what I mean. <laughs> I'm saying to you, it's better to be non-white and British than to be non-white and French. Non-white and Italian. Non-white and Spanish. Non-white and Portuguese. I'm saying to you, we need to see what we have here. But we should always be analyzing. It's the best of the worst. That's Analyze. what it is. It's the Analyze. best of the worst. It's your question. <laughs> and even black people are white now. Look at the this. Best of the <laughs> what have I got to do for I'm black? <laughs> you know, I was like, you're king last night. <laughs> Come on. Okay, you I come down here with a Harris Tweed jacket. <laughs> <laughs> it was cold. A fucking cold. It was cold. And a black cap. Cravat. And who remembers? I would never wear a cravat. Who remembers? I would never wear a cravat. No decent idea would ever do that. Wear a wax fucking hunting jacket. Yes, I do have one. What the fuck are you hunting? Yes, I do have one. I know. Yes, I do have one. The fuck cravat? Nigeria. Cravat? You are from Hell no. My brother, you are from Nigeria. Fuck you, my friend. What are you hunting? Fucking elephant. Bush meat, my friend. Well, he's having bush meat in Tesco. He goes and spare a fucking chicken. And he goes and chicken in the middle. Love you. Fuck you. Yes, sorry, sir. White people are here. My friend, white people are here too. I They have a chance to speak. I defer. Sorry, my friend, for discriminating against white people. The British looters and plunderers. Excuse me, my friend. A white man is talking. A white man is talking. He's not black! Why you carry on interrupting? I'll bring immigration next week. <laughs> <laughs> I keep them as a general. I know what you say, I've done a time and they do another European country. But if so, why? why? It's so old. It's so old and innocent. <laughs> Motherfucker, you give them a black door. Hold on, hold on, sir. He says, why are they rioting? That gives it the racial context of suggesting no. that minorities are rioting. We heard of a millionaire's daughter who was convicted. Yeah, we yet already you racist. No, but she was mixed race. She was mixed race. She was mixed race. He says now he's been provocative. The man's trying to create a back door for himself. You know exactly what you're doing. The fucking bird comes in and leaves the window open now try to climb out to the window. You know exactly what you're saying. You do not say that statement to be provocative. You actually were honest in that. Oh, come on, he was. Will you be provocative? Because I don't know the answer. Hear his reaction. Uh, and he has a white woman, so it must be true. <laughs> <laughs> Find me one. Hey, listen to him. <laughs> can you speak up, my friend, so white Sorry. people can hear? Black right. right. people's hearing is more acute than white people. Speak up. Don't, don't discriminate. Don't no, man, if you're a black man, you've got to be aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we live in a rich environment. London's a very rich country. Loud up. London's not a country. Sorry. In, in the world. Yeah? In the city. Um, around this area, with the coffee in there. In the cities around this area. In terms of, in terms of education. education. So none of them are going to go in the None of them are going to it's amazing how black people lose their voices when they go out with white men. <laughs> because if he was doing that when he'd be angry, he'd be speaking like, no! Oh, no. Just, just the point of analysis, just the point of analysis. Just an observation. Why is white for? Well, I don't know, ask the GLC. That went a long time ago. That's more than the touching score. Anyway, three now, right? Let's move on. Yeah, move on. The other thing is this. 
I've had, I've had, I've had quite a few white women. You have a white always moment. No, I'm an Asian no. fucker too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a Chinese fuck that. I'm international. I don't discriminate. I fuck. <laughs> There was some police booking a group to go. Yeah, they were looking for him. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Don't say that in a meeting. Hello, excuse me. Is this a private conversation? No, Are black people allowed to enter? I think I'm outside. But why did you raise your voice, my friend? Yeah, bro, raise your voice, man. Come on. You brought your anger. You're a black man. Where's the bass? Yeah, he's in pussy. Where's the chain of crown? Where's the loot of one cross? Give it to him, brother! Give him the base! Fuck it! There you go again. So the boy on land is, they're looking at me, but they can't get. It's impossible for them to reach. That's not true. Tyro? Listen, mate. Don't call me mate. It's not your mate. It's a capitalist. Not unless you've fucked him first. It's a bit. Poor capitalist. I would have went through a university education. Because that's not the pathway choice when you grow up in the state. Right. Yeah, it's not the case. Hear him, hear him, Tyler. No, you know what? Yeah, honestly, brother, don't brother, 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 brother,
happening in the UK and decided to arm these protesters? Oh, I'm going to tell you. What do you think? Yes. Oh, yes. Come on. Yes. Chinese. What do you think would happen? Let me tell you about Libya. 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 I was in Libya a few months ago. What do you mean you were in Libya? You were in a delegation. That's right. Yeah, you were in a delegation. What do you mean I was in Libya? I was in Libya a few months ago. Who were you? The issue is, in, 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 in Libya, you had a, 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 a rebel group, a group of people, who were fighting for whatever they were fighting for. And what we had was foreign government armed them of a train. All I say to you is this, my friend. What do you think would happen if some foreign government, which had problems with Britain, decided to arm those protesters that came out of the streets of Britain? That would never what you'd happen. find is, you'd find an uprising, you'd find an armed uprising, and then it would be hijacked by the trade unionists, by the anti-war movement, by the various movements that are trying to stop it. So it becomes a popular uprising. And in fact, it could have likewise been described as a popular uprising by the foreign media, but it wasn't. So may I ask you this, sir? What's the, and I'm going to close the meeting now. What's your opinion about the Libyan protest? I'm asking you a question. Sir, sir, I'm asking you about the Libya because I assume you're an intelligent man. I could talk more. What do you think about Libya and the protests that were happening in Libya? I'm very skeptical. You're skeptical about what's going on? It's not the same as unarmed protesters. Unlike, uh, it's, uh, it's different from unarmed protesters. Do you believe they should be harmed? They've lost all credibility. The rebels have lost credibility. No, they haven't. No, they've not. I disagree that we should be funding our protests. Then we can agree. Then we, then we can agree on that point. Before I close the meeting. Before I close the meeting. Because the government should be giving them all jobs. Before I close the meeting. Before I close the meeting. The whole point I'd like to raise is: it doesn't matter what opinion we have. It doesn't matter what opinion we have, as long as we are communicating, we are talking, we are debating, and we are discussing these issues. And that's where it's at. We are, we are all the same people. And I'm saying if we want to change the world, don't change the world by joining an organization or by saying I'm going to become a this party in that group. Change yourself as an individual. I'm sorry to quote this person. I'm sorry to quote this person so much because I think it just sums it up. Michael Jackson. <laughs> Peter Paul. Peter Paul. I believe he did it. Black man again. I believe he did the first one, but not the second one. <laughs> Michael Jackson was whiter than white people. <laughs> Role model. And like you. <laughs> You're almost as white as Tyler. <laughs> now, Michael Jackson, the musical philosopher. Michael Jackson in one of his songs says, I'm looking at the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. I'm looking at the man in the mirror. And if you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make that change. That is the best quote <laughs> that I can give you. If you want to change the world, don't try and change your neighbor and pick fault with other people. Look at yourself, think, how can I become a better human being? And when you become a better human being, we all meet together as improved human beings, and then we'll talk about bad human beings like Tyrell. <laughs> <laughs> There's hope for me, Ishmael. No way. No, There's no, hope. Right. No, 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 no. There's no. a black man in the right here. No. No. Seriously. I, mean, I will come back next year, inshallah, with my pants down my arm, <laughs> with a gold chain, and I'll be saying, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Seriously, Ishmael. You will see it. <laughs> Beyond that, we might look at us. I mean, look at us. We are a living example of it. My friend, may I ask you, where are you from? What country are your parents from? It's a straightforward question, my brother. I should tell you why you're confused. Yeah, to black man. <laughs> <laughs> it's straightforward. I'm, my parents are from Jamaica. Fantastic. Fantastic. You're Jamaican. You're Jamaican. You're a yard. He's a yard. You're a yard. Yeah, watch it. Watch it. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Before this guy break up the fucking momentum, he's Jamaican. Where are you from, sir? Dubai. Where are you from, sir? Sudan. Madam? 
Spain. Guinea-Bissau. Guinea-Bissau. Nigeria. Nigeria. <laughs> England. <laughs> Ethiopia. Oh. Shepherd Bush. The Shepherd Bush. <laughs> Iraq. Iraq. <laughs> Colombia. <laughs> Egypt. Portugal. Portugal. England, England, Germany, Bangladesh, Bangladesh India, Iran. Iran, the whole world. Look at us. Somali, oh, sorry, sorry about Somalia. I don't want to bring no violence. No Somalia. There is no Islamic Republic of Luton. Yeah, Luton. The point is, the point is, the point is, we can create prejudices about each other, galvanized by the media and everything else. But look around us, we're all together, we get along, we cooperate, we might not like it, well I don't like him, but we have, to, we have to cooperate, we have to learn to get along. And I'm simply saying, let's learn to break down barriers that we have amongst each other. Begin is a speaker's corner, a great and unique space, not just in, in England, but around the world. Here you can engage in discussions and debate without being shocked. <laughs> all, and no one's opinion's right. All they are are opinions. Are, you know, we all just come from different points of view. I have my opinion. Idiots have their opinion. I just have right to. So what I'm simply saying. What a great country. What I'm simply saying. <laughs> what a great country. Democracy. Not in Libya. I'm simply saying. Let us all learn how to coexist in some way. Because all we're doing is exercising reality. And I'm glad that everybody has played along in the spirit of this discussion. I'm not going to offend it by certain comments or words that are used. Can you imagine what it is? Because we, we, we don't recognize reality. We, we're so divorced from reality. But we control our emotions. If I said to this man, nigger, hey, if I did, don't call me I, nigger. Your name is Tyler. Why do you call me nigger? <laughs> okay, that right, is so black. All right. That is so black. But Tyler could choose to be offended. Yeah. He could want to attack me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But it's how we are my gun and my socks. <laughs> we can, yes, we can. It's how we appropriate it. We are in total yeah, control. We should always, we should always, we should always be in control, recognize that we are the architects and the drivers of our emotions. So it's how we respond to situations that means there's residual effect. What happened in Tottenham didn't have to go that way. It was the response that led to something else. So we as individuals are in control of our responses. I do not condone the violence and the rampant anarchy that went on. Unless, well said, unless it was focused. People have the right to be angry, but then they have the right to focus. But I support focus protest. If they identify why they're angry, why they're protesting, then perhaps I would have a better understanding and know what I'm supporting. But when it's rampant anarchy, I don't know what I'm supporting. They could be burning down shops because they want all black people to get out of the country. I would never clue. So I'm simply saying, we're all the same people. Let us learn how to coexist and get on with each other. And when I finish this meeting, I'm looking for ice cream. So if anyone's going to buy me ice cream, I will. <laughs> They should, have, they should have laid siege to Parliament Square, the writers. Yeah, they missed yeah. a great chance. Yeah. Surrounded the politics. Yes, yes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>